Rule 26, dangerous riding. What do you need to know about dangerous riding? Dangerous riding, very generally speaking, is anything that is kind of goofy or unusual that causes a danger to yourself or any of the other players or the umpires. So anything outside the flow of the play, um, anything that's unexpected by other players that causes danger. So just like the name, anything that's dangerous. Um, oftentimes it'll be accompanied by a yellow card, uh, but it's not always accompanied by a yellow card. And, and sometimes it's a little bit dangerous and the umpire will call it and, and say it's improper riding or improper something. We're saying that because <clears throat> we don't want to hear the argument from the players, well, if it's dangerous, it should be a yellow card. That's completely within our discretion and uh, we want to use yellow cards sparingly and appropriately. So I'll go over some of the more common examples of dangerous riding, but just remember, it can be anything that's unusual or dangerous or both. Bumps and write-offs, um, you've heard this in other areas of of this video rule book, but you know, at the risk of repeating myself, uh, if a bump or a write-off is not similar speed, shoulder to shoulder, and less than a 45 degree angle, it'll be considered dangerous riding, and that and that's the foul. Uh, two on one, or commonly uh, referred to as a sandwich, um, two players from one team making contact with one player from the other team simultaneously and causing that player some kind of disadvantage. That's two on one, that's dangerous riding. Riding your opponent over a right away of another player. Can be your player, can be a player from the other team. Riding an opponent into the umpire. Hitting the umpire or uh, riding too close to the umpire. Remember, we're part of the playing field, so you don't want to do that. Uh, if you do it accidentally to us, we just try to get out of the way. Um, but if you're just careless, uh, that's dangerous riding. And I usually give a yellow card if you're carelessly get too close to me or you're not paying attention, just so you pay attention. Remember, our prime directive is safety. Okay, riding into the stroke of another player, considered dangerous riding. Uh, international rules are a little different on this, but we're doing domestic rules right here. So, uh, dribbling, the ball is not considered a stroke. We're talking about a full swing. So, you know, if it's, if it's a half swing or a dribble, you can ride into that, not, not dangerous. But riding into the full swing, um, is considered dangerous riding when the player starts his swing. So when the mallet head of the player starts making its forward movement towards the ball, then the swing has begun and you cannot ride off at that point. You must stay on your near side to, and hook. The player is the only play you have or make a near side back shot. Okay. But if you make contact first and then the player swings into your horse, that's hitting into a horse that's improper use of the mallet. It'll be a foul on the player that's hitting instead of a player that's riding into the stroke. So remember, the stroke has to start first. Oftentimes, this is a very difficult call to make. Umpires will disagree on it. Even going to the drone footage, if you have that available. Um, I've sat in the IRO booth before and I've had to slow it down frame by frame to see if the stroke started first or if the player rode in there first. So that's a very difficult call to make. Uh, so if that happens simultaneously, sometimes we'll even offset it because we can't tell. With that being said, let's move on. Intimidation. This is almost making a dangerous play and catching the attention of the other players. So for example, if you ride at a sharp angle to the line and then stop at the last second and it causes the other player to, to look up or it messes them up in some way, it's intimidation. You shouldn't be doing that uh, because that player doesn't know that you're going to stop. He thinks you might continue. But if you're doing it in an ordinary fashion and it doesn't mess up the other player and, and it's part of the usual play, it's fine. Remember, anything outside the ordinary that can cause uh, a player to look up or cause any kind of a potentially dangerous situation, you're responsible for that. You're responsible for yourself on the polo field, just like you're responsible for yourself when you're out driving your car. Uh, okay, zigzagging in front of another player. This happens with less experienced players all the time. They're trying to take a higher rated player out and they don't know how, so they just zigzag in front of them, hoping that messes them up. And this is hard for us to call because we're usually focused on where the ball is and where the play is. And, and this is the kind of thing that happens outside of that. Um, it happens in a different area of the field. Uh, so you, we all, oftentimes, if you'll have a USPA third man, the USPA third man will radio this sort of thing in to us and let us know that that is happening. Um, but we will catch it if it's, if it's within our field of view. 
don't do it because the front legs, remember, we've gone over this before, the front legs of the horse are the most important ones. So if you're zigzagging in front of another player and you cut his front legs out, he's going down and you could kill him. It's not a joke. So don't do it. And if you don't know how to take a higher rated player, don't do it. Those are your most common dangerous riding situations. But remember, your umpire has the discretion to call dangerous riding on any play that's dangerous or outside the norm that could cause danger. Alternate rule 26H is a choice a host tournament committee can make in ACO Polo and above. Alternate rule 26 is a host tournament committee election in Polo, eight goals and higher. The host tournament committee, if they elect to use alternate rule 26, will allow a player to ride into a shot of another player from the side, never from behind and never without making contact because that would be riding over the ball. And that is alternate rule 26.